got really excited the first time we saw concept art from the art team. And I was like, whoa, whoa. And I kept sending this concept art to friends and tests, like, yo, you gotta check this out. We get to design a new character, something that we've never seen before. We went into like the toy box and pulled out like the coolest, biggest action figures that we had. One of the superpowers of the team was your life experience, mm. right? How do you see the world? Everybody sees the world differently. Art team, like, oh, they killed it. <laughs> <laughs> The blue sky face is a really important part of our process. It's just like, sky's the limit. You can kind of do whatever you want. This is, this is where you don't get like limited by anything. You hear people throwing these words over and over again. Action, blockbuster, colorful. So we take notes and we take those and like, guys, we got two weeks. You know, we, we're gonna do this really cool exploration. A lot of those things, you know, that you see on the screen, there are those seeds that come from those two weeks where we do all the blue sky form. We landed on the final look for New Muna by uh, continuing the, you know, the blue sky phase for concept. Most things around in Destiny are sort of ruined or broken. It's post-apocalyptic. I think a lot of people were expecting something dark, but we wanted to sort of surprise that a little bit. Like, actually, you're in a bright, vibrant city. One of the things that we always want to do in our team is not just do things for the sake of, uh, oh, this looks cool. There's all these storms that go by, so like when you have sort of like a lighthouse and you have lights that go off and sirens that go off to kind of tell people where they are. Another interesting thing is, you know, we got the strand coming up, so we want to give players a playground where they can go around up and down, yeah, left and right. Yeah. Neo Moon is definitely very different from our previous release. Starting all the brainstorming is like, all right, team, Destiny is going to have a new character something that we've never seen before. When we conceived of the Cloud Striders, we wanted to create a heroic archetype that was distinctly non-Guardian, uh, something that pushed the extent of what you thought the Destiny universe had to offer. The most important part of the Cloud Striders to me is the sacrifice that they're making, which is unlike the Guardians, they don't have unlimited lives. They only get one shot, and in fact, it's even shorter because they have like a 10-year lifespan from when they start their service. Once I heard that, I was like, okay, yeah. can we reflect in the visuals, yeah. like the age? We wanted to show the age. Mm -hmm. When we're talking about what's the anti-Guardian visually, what is going to make these guys like, whoa, what is that? I've never seen that in Destiny. We ended up with a oh, nine foot tall <laughs> <laughs> superhero. Kalos is an interesting character. His opulence, the greed, the gluttony. He looks like he's drooling gold. He's got jewels everywhere. He's got toe rings. My semblance matches my inner beauty. What does it mean to be transformed into like a disciple, right? Like, is he even Cabal anymore? So I think you and I are a little more loose yeah, when yeah. we do concepts. <laughs> like, yeah. you and I do more like sketchy yeah. loose stuff. I get excited for that. I don't know. I have a, I have a favorite one that I did, which is like really, <laughs> I don't even know if we should show it. It's a picture, it's like a, it's a, it's an animated gif of Callus, and he's, he's like rotating and he's sparkling. You can't contain the callous, like, <laughs> opulence, right? Yeah. He has to come through. Players know this. Players know this callous. Yeah. So this is a new callous that joined forces with the witness. This calls for a toast, does it not? We don't want to come up with just, like, great visions. Yeah, like, every detail has to support the theme or the story. From the colors, from the shapes, from the function, where it fits with the characters. Yeah. That's one thing that this team does really well. There's a lot of thought going behind all the concepts and the ideas and seeing the demos, like seeing the in the game, trying things out, getting inspired by that, going in, doing the concepts, and then coming back and yeah. the back and forth between the teams. Seeing it done, like complete, you know, have the flow from the Wind of Neptune, and then we have all the flow from like Strand and how yeah. it's kind of like coming together. Right? It all makes sense, yeah. There's something about like teamwork where like, yeah things are pollinating each other, yeah, yeah. and by the end, it becomes like this very cohesive product. So it's really cool to see it all together. Yeah.